connecting these points or we'll be covering these contents as part of our course so out here we'll be working on managing the relationships the relationships are within the uh, software of course then we followed by working with calculations when i say calculations means uh, we'll be working on new measures quick measures new columns and tables we'll also be working with new parameters for what of analysis and then we'll also work understand the help community and resources in help menu having said that let's quickly launch the software let's load it rather quickly so of course as usual that's your work canvas for power bi which is in the report views format if you change it over here in data and the model format these are your fields typically filters fields and initializations that apart you have the pages out here that you can increase or reduce as you want to so i'll close them we don't need them anyway not for the immediate basis i click on modeling out here now modeling out here what do i see well i can see the relationships section we also have the calculations section we can we, we can add a new measure quick measure new column new table you can also change the detection which is also called as a page refresh which means if you make any changes then if you refresh it and uh, the changes will be reflected in that particular page also have what if analysis uh, which covers a new parameter security which is typically part of the admin process the admins will decide what can be viewed by whom and to what extent and what level and what detail and we have the q and a linguistics schema language you can select which language you want how you have selected english as a default language we also have the Q&A set up out here. Uh, with these points in mind, move towards importing a data set and seeing and working how it all turns out. Let us click on import data from Excel. Let us see what, which all or what all kind of data set do we have. Okay, let's select financials. I click OK. So it's loading the financials data set. And out here, these are the details that we have. I don't know what's there in sheet one though. Let us select financials. Yeah, that's what this is about and in sheet one what do we have in sheet one okay this table is empty so we don't need to import it anyway so fine we are importing the financials worksheet and i click load that should appear over here somewhere no it will appear here rather we're working on it so out here when i click these are the uh, attributes so these are the uh, columns that are available over here over here now we can see that some of these column names are missing i don't know what this column stands for so that is something i'll have to look into column 15 as well column 16 as well but it does appear that these were the tables that were created although they have never been in use so let us quickly let us also click on this and see yeah okay sector sec filings symbol let us go to the uh, original data set and see what is it out there that we are not seeing here to financials okay come back here column 14 15 and 16 let's look at here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so that's 15 and 16th column but it's not mentioned here but we do have the sec filings a sector symbol so these three columns are available to us except that we do not have them as a summation so we don't know what is 14 15 and 16 we'll do this a little later so let's do one thing let us delete these three we have these but we're not using them so we'll come here and we'll delete delete from model yes i'll click here and again select delete from model yes come in i'll delete this also from model now these three are gone okay and uh, they are not available out here also on the filters visuals so i'm closing this window this and this fine so everything is now clear in the columns also out here they are not available so we'll delete these three also and uh, this visual okay i'll delete this remove it these three things are now done now uh let us quickly go on the modeling so out here we have the manage relationships but it is deselected of course so let's click on this do we have any other sheet that we can open in simultaneity to ensure all that yeah let's import gold so let's come here i'm importing another sheet i'll click on file 
click on get data and I'll select here I'll drop down select all files and I'll select gold data set and I click open yeah so that's what we have here and I click load again the objective is to try and establish a relationship between both the box sheets so let's see if that's going to work out so I select here you see both the gold and the financials okay so I'm clicking here and I'm selecting manage relationships or manage aggregations and also select but these are the additional options that we have. We can select columns let's select columns so which columns do you want to select out here if you want to select this column this column will be reflected over here then you come here and you can create a hierarchy so i create a hierarchy so price hierarchy is mentioned over here okay if you want to delete it you can come here and click and select and click on delete from all so that price hierarchy will be gone. I have not gone into what is price hierarchy and all like that. It's not been done yet. So this is what we have. And if I click on gold, these are the values that are available over here. What do we have here on the data set? Out here we are seeing the financials. If I click on gold, that particular data set will open up over here. Fine. Then let's uh, go on the modeling here and let's click on manage relationships. So we can see there are no relationships defined as such. So let's click on new. And uh, if I click on suppose financials. So in financials, these are the set of columns that are available to us. And instead of gold, these are the set of columns that are available to us. So if I click on cardinality, okay. Uh, I can select this, this, whichever we want. Okay. Let us select. I'm selecting symbol okay now obviously there is not much of a relationship anyway but we are creating one out here i'll pick another data set also and i'll also create a relationship there for you to understand out here we're just taking a quick look on how did this the entire graphical user interface work like so i select on cardinality one to one i can also select many to one one to many many to many i'm selecting one to one and cross filter directions work both ways. So this is how your this relationship has been created. And I click close. So let's come here. So this is what you see here. That since we have created a relationship, we can see that this line, this connector is you know the relationship is reflected by this connector. Now if I click on this, right click, it will show us the properties. So I click on properties. So what is it showing you on the property? Which or what is the cardinality of this relationship? Which two worksheets are involved in creation of this relationship? And uh, what is the cross filter direction? Make this relationship active. Okay. Now, if, suppose if I change this singly, the filter direction is selected isn't valid for this relationship. If I want, I can make it many to one. Yes. Let us make this many to one single. So I click OK. So out here it will change from many to one. So out here you see the star. And here you can see one this star is what many and this is one earlier let's come back here right click and click properties earlier it was one to one with both sides and i click okay so you can see it's one to one so for one to one it's one here and it's one here so it is a reflection that it is one to one relationship again if i come back here and i click properties and if i change this here from many to many supposedly apply security filter in both directions uh, can, if it is expected that neither column contains unique values and blah blah blah, blah. so okay this is saying yeah, it is giving you a uh, alarm i click ok so out here when you change many to many this will also become an star or an asterisk symbol and this will become a star or an asterisk symbol and out here you can see that this is how the relationship will be reflected out here as the relationship changes the its representative form also changes here on the model so again out here it's now connected one to one this is how we will be creating the relationships and uh, if you click up here on the report views go to file i'll click save as um, I'll go on our designated location. I'll write here uh, relationships. I click 
save it. So that is what we've done. Now what do I intend to do here is I intend to uh, like you know create a new measure or a quick measure. So choose from the list of common calculations and add the results to a select table. So for that I need to create a table now. So but that's fine. I click on quick measure first. Okay. So it is asking me which kind of calculation do you want to use. So I'm selecting here uh, variance per category or max per category. Okay. Base values. Okay. We don't have any base values out here. I'm selecting uh, 52 week low out here. Okay. We don't have any base value here. Nor is this activating here. Let's click on this within the category. If I select the field here is what a two week high. Selecting this. Add to the base value. Okay. And, um, so uh, this is the max per category. The base value we are taking this. You can also change this over here as what well. this is some value that we are taking. You can also take it as a maximum value. If I click on field, they select this, and if I select uh, 52 week high, 52 week low, click on right click on this and click on add to the category. Okay, then I click OK. So we can see here that, like, you know, this is how we have created a measure, a quick measure. Name of this quick measure is what they have named it. So max of 52 week high, max of if we low is equal to max of key filter values blah 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 and this okay so this is the quick measure that was created now if i bring this and drag it over here so it shows me the max of 52 week high max per 52 week low so out here it's 1589 that is a 52 week high that it shows me so um, this is how you'll be using a quick measure in the modeling fine so uh as we continue with this I'll also take some filters out here and some visualize some more visualizations. We'll also be creating some new measures and new columns or new tables in which we'll be further integrating and adding newer measures and newer calculations.